Hey peeps. So for this Morty, I did him a little different. I had him wearing joggers and a long sleeve shirt. Also, I did his eyes different. I just wanted to do something fun and add my own twist. I encourage other people to do that. If not, just do the original Morty. Either way, it's easy. And for the shirt, I did primary yellow and I did it two times. The joggers, I did blue. I did deep turquoise blue. I also did two times. For his skin tone, I added titanium white and used more of this than the other colors. A little bit of primary yellow and about a drop of primary magenta. Use lighter colors, otherwise the darker colors will overwhelm it when you're making a lighter color. The second layer, I felt I felt the first layer was too dark, so for the second layer, I added more yellow, then it caused it to be too yellow. I think the third yellow added too much red, so just be careful when you're doing that. Probably the first skin tone I made was the best one, and I should have stuck to that one. So for his hair, I used emerald green turquoise deep and magenta red. I was trying to make brown, but I ended up with a dark green color. I went with it. I liked how it looked. And I added a little couple drops of iridescent bright gold to make it a little bit of sh shimmery and a little bit shiny. So with my liner paintbrush, which is a number four liner, just use black and line it all up. I added a few little lines in his clothing just to add a little bit of depth to it. And so with this Morty, I put his hand in front of his face because I seen the kids do it on Instagram. I guess that's what kids are doing these days. I don't know. Let me know. I did two layers with the liner brush, not on the whole thing just mainly around him. So for the background, I just added a few drops of red. I wanted something loose to represent a bad boy Morty, so I just kind of went with red and green. Uh, primary magenta and emerald green. And I added a few drops to the paper and just used a dry brush technique where you just move the paint around with the brush so you get kind of some texture in it. I don't know if that makes sense.
I wanted to add some swatches of paint so I covered Morty up. If you do this, make sure you cover him very well because I've had issues where the paint gets through the paper that I taped over. Just wet your uh, paintbrush very well in watery paint and flick the paint with the brush and you'll get spots. I know it'll look cool. Thanks for watching guys. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, artbyvirginiaw.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Thank you.